story tonight. A carjacking at the oceanfront. It ends in a high-speed chase near Town Center. Good evening. I'm David Culver in for Katie Collette. Police say it started at the 9th Street parking garage just before 7 o'clock Saturday evening. The victim was not hurt, but did in fact call 911. Ten of your sides and McNamara spoke to the man whose vehicle was hit by the suspects. And what did he have to say? Well, David, he didn't know it at the time, but he ended that high-speed chase at the intersection of South Kellum Road and Virginia Beach Boulevard. Thanks to his car, the suspects could not get away. Like the one of the officers said, uh, right time at the wrong place. Alexander Gavrilenko was sitting in his car at a red light when something in the rearview mirror caught his eye. I heard the sirens. I saw the police. I saw the car swerving. They tried to get in the left lane. They tried to um, get past the light, and so that's when they hit my car. Gavrilenko says three men were inside, and they all jumped out once they realized their car couldn't go any farther. Their car got disabled when they hit mine, and so when they realized they couldn't drive the car anymore, they, that's when they hopped out and started running. Witnesses say one ran to the right and was chased down by a police officer. They say the other two ran to the left and were chased down by canines. Police tell us the dogs bit two of the suspects. Gavrilenko found all of this out after the fact. They told me there was a uh, carjacking at Knife Point, uh, Ocean Front. The car was spotted on the on the interstate, and the chase ended here. And even though he's missing half a bumper, Gavrilenko seems to be leaving in pretty good spirits. We asked where he was headed in the first place. I was going to pick up chicken wings, so <laughs> wings and things. So, like, um, so. Are you hungry? Uh, well, now, not really. So. <laughs> Hope he had something to eat by now. By the way, he was not hurt. The suspects, though, were treated for minor injuries. Police have not released their names or any possible charges. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. All right, staying in Hampton.